Good evening, everyone, out there in JD Farms Gourmet Turkey Facebook land. It's Jeanette Martin, your brand ambassador, and tonight we are making weekday turkey burger lasagna. Yes, you know, as I posted earlier, I like to do quirky recipes. And when I think about what our incredible JD Farms turkey burgers look like, the size of them, what's inside them, how we make them. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to create an easy weekday lasagna for you with items that I found in my pantry and also in my fridge. And of course, tonight is the last night of our $20 gift card. I've got everybody. This time I'm, I am managed to make sure that I uh, wrote everybody's names down and I put it in my little Morton pestle. And at the end of the show, I will be drawing for our $20 gift cards. So tonight's recipe for weekday lasagna, um, like I said, it does use our, our gourmet turkey burgers. They're slightly, I would say two thirds thawed, almost three quarters of the way thawed. Um, we're gonna use what's called oven ready pasta sheets. Um, they're very thin pasta sheets. And the secret to using these is the sauce that you use has to be quite, um, if, if liquidy is a word, then we need it to be very liquid because it's going to, as it's warming up, it's gonna cook these pasta sheets. So, and we're also going to be making a little bit of a sauce right off the bat. And I have done some prep ahead of time because we're gonna make this, uh, build this all up. So in my sauce, I've got for my little casserole that will feed two people, because I have two, two turkey burgers. I've got a quarter of an onion. I've got a quarter of a yellow um, bell pepper, sorry, orange bell pepper, a quarter of a red bell pepper, and it's quite cut up very small. So probably in about, oh, a centimeter slice, or centimeter dice. I also have, um, this was about three um, porta, little portobello mushrooms that are cut up, again, about the same size, because we want consistency and texture, as well as this is gonna cook pretty fast, okay? So let's go over to the pan cam, and then we'll do the rest of the ingredients, and let's get our sauce going. So we'll get over here, and we're at our pan cam. Perfecto. How's everybody doing tonight? I see I've got seven people tuned on. Remember, if you do have any questions about the JD Farms products, I'm here to answer them. So I've turned up my little um, nonstick frying pan here to about 325-ish. You could use a good organic olive oil in the pan, but I want to develop flavor quickly in this sauce. So I'm going to use, because I'm going to use a little bit of sun-dried tomato, so why not use the sun-dried tomato oil that's here? So this has got a lot of flavor. So about a tablespoon out of our jar. And in go all our veg, in go our mushrooms, in there, I'm gonna turn this up just a bit. And I also have, I took three of the sun-dried tomatoes and cut them up very fine ahead of time, in there. And I didn't bring a bench cloth, like a silly girl. And we wanna give that a stir around. And also in our spices, um, a classic Italian um, recipe um, or Italian sauce has got, you know, the basil and the thyme and the oregano in it. Well, I took a look at the herbs to Provence that sell. Got a classic band of bla basil, basil, I'm going to put my camera up just, just a touch here. Um, basil, fennel, lavender, savory, and thyme. So those are perfect ingredients to use in this. And I gave it a smell and it's like, yep, that's the Italian kind of flavors I want. I'm gonna put probably a teaspoon in my hand. And the key piece with any dried herbs, guys, is we gotta wake them up. Cause they've been having a little snooze in the jar. Hey guys, sorry about that. I lost connection there for uh, there for a bit. Oh, put my camera back down. Sorry about that. Technology, it works, it works or not. So got the herbs back in my hand. Give it a little bit of a squish in between my hands. Give that a stir into that oil that's going to wake it up. 
And you want to give that a nice stir around. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because we just want a nice saute, nice soft saute on that. Okay, let's come back over to the main stage. And now we're going to get our ricotta mixture done. So classically, when you make an Italian um, lasagna, and I've got a really good friend, Marzia, and she does this all by scratch, making her own pasta. You make like a white sauce, you have what's called a bechamel sauce, and you have your tomato sauce, and you're layering it all up. Or you can make it really quickly using, this is some nice um, regular traditional ricotta. That's a cup of ricotta. And I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. Have you ever bought cottage cheese or ricotta and you needed that one cup for a recipe and then when you went to go use it again, it got moldy? The problem why it went moldy is because the air that's here, so if you turn it over and store it like this, so now you've got that ricotta cheese creating the seal and the air is not getting that little You'll keep your ricotta and your cottage cheese a lot faster. So store it like that. There's your tip for today. Just stir up my veg again. Don't want it to burn, but I'm getting a really nice cooking. Okay, so back to the ricotta. You either need to use two eggs in here or around the corner from me, they have double yolkers. So look at that. Two yolks in one. Oh, that's almost funny. That's a yolky. We want to stir that in. And I'm going to use, I call this the um, kind of the multi-purpose spice. They call it the turkey rub. I call it the multi-purpose spice in my uh, my kitchen. Um, the turkey rub. I'm going to use, oh, about a teaspoon of that. And with the ricotta cheese. Okay, and give that a nice little turn around. So we want to mix that up really well. Essentially what we're creating is a bit of a ricotta custard in a way. And the, the egg is gonna make it so it sets up nicely when it's baking. And it will seem a little bit runny. You need to have that extra liquid to reconstitute those um, pasta sheets. Okay, so that's good there. Okay, now we're gonna do something a little kind of crazy. What do we got? Oh, I love uh, that tip. I know, uh, Carmela, it is, it's brilliant. It works so well. Uh, you guys have the best, tur oh, I know, we do. yeah, we do. Okay, so let's go back over to the pan cam because we need to get a little bit of flavor on these, like they've been, so let's come back over to the pan cam. Move that around. We're going to put the turkey burgers into the pan just for a bit okay and you'll see that it's slightly they're slightly soft so we're probably almost about 90 percent thawed okay and kind of just married and they're going to get a little bit of that flavor not a lot a little bit of color maybe a minute maybe two minutes now we want to take this is two cups of beef broth. I just have the powder. I have a good organic beef bouillon that I use and water. Into the pan it goes. Make sure to get all those little good spices at the bottom. It's those bouillon spices. And you're like, what the what, Jeanette? That is so liquidy. Hey guys, sorry about that. I keep losing connection. So I'm picking my phone up to uh, find the connection. Um, you know, winter weather or fall weather. It's kind of crazy. Oh, There we go. Um, thank you for your patience while I had difficulties today. So we just kind of stir that around, fading in and out. I'm no Velma. I'm so sorry. Crazy technology. Okay, so that's good there. We're just going to let that sit there for a second. Let's come back over to here. And we're going to start prepping our pan. Okay, so I've got my little enough for two, probably three. I'm going to take a little bit of that sauce, so tip that up. A tablespoon of that sauce goes into the bottom. So just a little bit of the sauce in the bottom. 
take my lasagna sheet. You kind of have to break them to fit in there and you want to get all the little areas covered. Does anybody else use these um, amazing pasta sheets? I just love them. Because there's nothing worse than boiling noodles. I gotta say. And then they lay them out and being cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna put a little bit more of my sauce. So a couple of tablespoons, a couple of ladles of the sauce. Okay, keep that. I'm gonna do some of the ricotta cheese mixture down oh and i put some on my board so half of the ricotta cheese mixture so about half a cup oh and turn that off okay and this is the kind of cool thing is i want to get some extra little veg in there so anybody got a cheese slicer take your zucchini and run it to make nice long slices or if you have a mandolin, you can use a mandolin for this, but I think a cheese slicer works really well. See, nice. And they're even thin slices. That's good there. Let's get another sheet of lasagna in there. And you're like, but Jeanette, when is the turkey burger coming in? This is all about JD Farms and their turkey burger. This is when it comes in. So I'm going to set this aside. So you kind of see, guys, that I'm layering it so it's very much all the lasagna noodles are in there. So I'm going to take out the patty, cut it in half, okay? And it's definitely not cooked. It's just kind of warmed through. Cut it in half. And this is where math comes into place. So bring this back. We kind of go square to square so all the square ends or the the flat ends go to the sides of the dish okay so you see that how it goes in there okay Oop. So that, oh where am i going with my lasagna okay, now we want to put another sheet of lasagna in there Break that off just a little bit. And then back fill that back in, all the little nooks and crannies. And just give it a little push down. You know, it doesn't look glamorous now, but when it bakes and all this pasta gets absorbed and cooked in, oh my gosh, it's delicious. Let's do another couple of teaspoons of this sauce. some of those nice vegetables in there okay and another layer of that ricotta cheese on top you can you use fresh pasta oh absolutely yes 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 because the fresh pasta sheets cook about the same amount of time as the re, uh, reconstituting if that's the right word with the dried sheets absolutely just clean that up just a little bit okay let's get another sheet or two of the no cook noodle oh, a little bit more it's like building your own little puzzle getting all of those little pieces in there how's everybody doing tonight i so am grateful that you guys follow me and have some fun with me I miss going out and doing the demos in the stores because I always tell these are some of the recipes that I do with JD Farms products. Um, and now I get to show you. So a little bit more of that sauce on top. And it's going to be pretty full. Pretty full. Okay, right up to the top. Got a little extra sauce left over, but that's okay. Now at this point clean it up. I would put it in the on my little toaster oven at 350 degrees for about 40-ish minutes because then what I want to do is come back and put my knife in and if I see that it comes out clean as well as you can kind of see the pasta will you'll pop up like the pasta will swell up. 
So at that about 30, 35 minutes where the pasta is cooked all the way through, it says that this is 20 minutes to do. Sometimes it's 20 minutes, sometimes it depends on how the temperature of your little toaster oven comes up. It may take a little bit longer. Then I would take it out. I have about a half a cup of fresh grate, grated mozzarella. That would go on the top and then back in the toaster oven for about five or seven minutes. I don't wanna put the cheese on the top now because it may burn and kind of get dry and brittle. Plus, it'll put a seal, and we need some of that liquid to evaporate out as it's cooking down to make that lasagna. So it's gonna be quite spectacular. Look, you can see those beautiful layers, and nice and easy, and that's using um, the JD Farms, um, the turkey burgers, go figure. Would you ever think to use turkey burgers to make a quick weekday lasagna? And you know what, I forgot that other layer And we're going to go to the draw. Let's just snuggle in some extra zucchini on the top here. That will cook down really nicely. I know all you guys are waiting. You're like, but I want to know who's going to win. Who's going to win the $20 gift cards? I can tell you guys out there. But I got to make it fancy. Even if it's for myself, you got to make it fancy. And one other one. And one more. See how easy this is? Oh, you're back. You know what? Oh, thank you so much. It's been fading in and out. I now moved my camera out to where I'm close to where my uh, my modem is. Uh, so it's time to uh, to get the winner drawn for the $20 gift card. So into the bowl I go. And let's see. Oh, I really crumpled them up really well. Open it up. Open it up. So, are you ready? Jenna, Jen, Maram, Maram, you have won the $20 gift card. So, I will be texting that into the chat box after we are done here. And then, if you will contact us, um, direct message us your address. Um, so we know where to ship off your $20 gift cards. Thank you so much today for kind of watching as my uh, my internet, my video was kind of fading in and fading out. And hopefully when you upload, you can rewatch the video and you can kind of get the smooth whole recipe. If there are pieces that are missing in the video, please put it in the comments and I will um, answer any questions. And remember, we will answer any questions regarding our turkey products as well. So for my home kitchen in uh, South Langley near the, in the Elder Grove border, I wish you great health um, and God bless. From the JD Farms family of Jack, Jason, Marilyn and Jennifer, their kids, their spouses and all our incredible family of uh, workers at JD Farms, we wish you to be kind we wish you to be safe we wish you to be calm and in uh, enjoy this this great meal and um and have a great weekend get out there and enjoy um this fall weather and it's time to make some good cozy recipes so i will be back again next thursday night for another edition of talking turkey with me brand ambassador jen, jen i forgot my name jeanette martin enjoy the night everybody and congratulations again jen <laughs>